experiencing Jesus as a lover means experiencing being wanted. You know, I believe if Jesus walked in this room in the flesh, and to, and to use a dead guy on term, if I could hear his sandals flap and I could hear the rod hit the pavement in front of him, if he walked down the aisle, I believe you'd be drawn into a force field of wantedness. You would feel so wanted by him. What does it mean to experience and taste the love of God? It means to experience how much he wants you. That's what chosen means. My favorite story, I tell it all the time, but it happened 32 years ago, and I still switch it around in my mouth, and it tastes good. When I was a 12-year-old boy, I was the worst basketball player that God ever created. That's true. Probably somebody in here saying, no, I'm worse than you. Then you'd be wrong. <laughs> Dead wrong. I'd dribble the ball one time, and I could never find it. Where'd that sucker go? I was 12 years old, 7th grader. My brother was a senior in high school, 5 years older than me, an incredible basketball player. One time I saw him sink 105 straight foul shots. Just woo, 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 woo. He was a real hero to me growing up. Every Saturday afternoon in my little Nashville neighborhood where we lived, we had a wonderful asphalt court, a beautiful goal post. Saturday morning, 10 o'clock, 25 big hairy high school guys would descend on our asphalt court, play a little ball. Well, they were older than me, all high school age, and I was a little 12-year-old junior high boy as a bad basketball player, and I'd look out there, feel intimidated, and I'd think, no way. With the exception, one Saturday morning I awakened with an attitude. <laughs> and I had the smirk that goes with that attitude. I remember putting my pants on. I just walked down to the kitchen table. My mother was reading the paper, having a late breakfast. I remember just kind of strutting over to her, and I said, Mom, I'm going to go out. I'm going to play a little ball with the boys. I don't remember what she said, but it was something like, no, son, I, I think you need to get a life. I, I don't remember what it was, but that's, that's what I remember. But I would not be denied. Man, I opened up that door. There they were, 25 big, hairy high school boys. <laughs> hair coming out of their shirts, man. I was still waiting for my first hair. You remember when you were 12? But I would not be denied, man. And we lined up. We started shooting foul shots. I remember it was my time. I was the two-hander. I remember praying something like, Lord, I'll be a missionary. <laughs> ah! And that ball went, <clears throat> well, then I won't be a missionary. <laughs> I was done, and I was over there in the recheck pile, and they kept shooting out, and finally got down to two guys that ended up being the captains, one of which was my brother. Then as we did it in our backyard, you shot out so you would get first pick. Seemed like it took 30 minutes for one of those guys to miss. Finally, the other guy missed. My brother was captain with first pick. 32 years ago, 33 years ago now, 23 high school boys, one little seventh grade boy, two high school captains, one of which was my brother, 33 years ago, about 11 o'clock in the morning, on a blue sky Saturday. My brother took his big long arm and his long index finger and the draft started. <laughs> he went all the way down that long lineup and wonders of wonders, his finger stopped and it was pointing at me. And out of his mouth came these unbelievable words in front of his peers. He said, David, I got first pick, and I choose you. I remember as a little old boy, I started walking toward my brother, walking toward my brother, walking toward my brother, and I didn't stop by his side and be all dignified. I walked right into his chest, and I remember putting my arms around him, 
And I remember wetting his T-shirt with my tears that morning. And my brother just threw his arm over me in front of his peers and just continued choosing. Don't miss this. Under his arm, 33 years ago, I tasted something. And you know what I tasted? I tasted being wanted. And you know what happened? It affected me. And I'm talking about it 33 years later. When I taste Jesus as a lover, whatever else that means, it means that he wants me. <laughs>